Oh my god, I suck at my job. Alrighty. I tell you what, my friends, the planets have lined up for us today. What is this, the almost the end of November and 65 degrees, very light wind. Boy, I tell you what, me and Bebop out here at uh, in Greensboro at the soccer complex out here at Brown Summit. Got the Bryan Park Soccer Complex. It's a beautiful day. It's almost perfect. Except for we're kind of missing one thing, one little ingredient. Unfortunately, his wife Shang had him holding him hostage down in Charleston. And I don't know why she would do that. Why she would go and break up a trio, you know, like the three amigos. You take him down there, you know, there's nothing to do down there. There's no hobby shops, no flying fields, nowhere like this, you know. You know it's just complete and just utter boredom, you know. I don't know. Why would you do that? It's got me very upset. We're missing the trifecta out here. Give him back. We deserve him back. Well, yeah. Now that I've pissed her off, I guess I'll uh, I'll move on and go fly. Yep. We got the old B Bizzle out here today flying. Showing us a little action here. Oh! Than I <laughs> a little breeze coming from the right there. They said it was going to be light wind today. Whew. All right, so what do we got? We got this big horn. We're going to do a little, a little bit of a test flight on today. I've had this kit for a little bit, had it finished, uh, just with things going on in life and everything getting in the way, just now getting around to doing the test flight on it. Uh, already done the range check, control surface check, everything's good, so we're good to go with that. Also, we got Night Tundra. Hopefully get a little better footage as the sun goes down, which will be in a couple hours. Uh, I've got a couple of little short clips on my page with the <clears throat> with the night tundra in it and, and I don't know kind of looks like it was filmed at 120p it's kind of choppy and blotchy it doesn't really look all that good hopefully we'll do better in that tonight and got a little bit of gimbal bling got some new bling bling for the T18 over here we got the big old cub with the nine million inch wingspan this plane flies amazing we're going to get that put together we're going to get that in the air get some footage on that so right now let's get on this so let's do this there you go all right let's do a quick radio check here Lock the screen right left up down So in the words of Pilot Robert and Captain Blige, this is a maiden flight at a beautiful and sexy OMP Hobby Bighorn. What's this thing? 1.4 meter? Yeah, something like that. 1.3? 1.4 meter. We measure in feet in the U.S. So. Yeah, the only thing it's, we carry in millimeters here is our pistols. Yeah, it's, it's bigger than three feet and smaller than four feet. How about that? Yeah, but... Um, Actually, I got the 3200 amp battery in this one. Uh, 22 didn't really fit where I had the Velcro, so I swapped it to a 32. So we're going to see what happens here. Uh, yeah, I really wish these people weren't over here off the side of the field, but you know what? It's a maiden flight. Middle rates and what the hell, eh? All right, here we go. Wanting to take a nose, it's a trim. Looks like it might be wanting to dive a little bit. Try to stay out of the sun. Balance feels pretty good. 
rolling to the right quite a bit. I'm gonna give it a little left throw, a little left trim here. Flies real good for uh, these are the middle rates. I don't even have it on low rates. So. Definitely has a lot of guts on it. Wind's kind of bumping it around a little bit. Got a little crosswind coming across the field. It flies pretty good. It likes the rudder. Um, really likes the rudder. I'm just going to be quiet. Kind of fly it around a little bit and see how it flies. Plus, this is the first time I've flown in, in weeks, so. We gotta blame it on something, right? Gotta blame it on something. Boy, that thing's as wide as all outdoors. What is that, the uh, 80 inch E-Flight Cub? 80, 81, 83, somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah. Yep, Carbon Z Cub SS. You can see it on the tail there. Running on 6S with Spectrum Radio. And we got the little, little Timber Turbo out here. Having a good time. Enjoying the weather. I think we're kind of blessed to have this weather today. I really cannot believe, man, 
It's almost December and we're having this kind of weather out here. Yeah, yep. It'll be 80 today and snowing tomorrow.
I do that all the time, man. I literally stood here looking like a dumbass for five minutes talking, and I wasn't even recording. God almighty. I don't even feel like doing it now. Jeez. I, I quit, man. YouTube and old people, it ain't for us. Well, what I was saying before I screwed it up, oh my God, I suck at my job. Sun's going down. We got enough time to get in a few more flights. Uh, the uh, Bighorn flew pretty good. I like it. it uh, it's a very lightweight plane. Uh, wind, it wasn't bad wind, but it still kicked it around and beat it up pretty bad whenever it would kind of punch up across the across the field like it was. Um, right now, it's, it's not blowing at all. I'm going to go take another flight, get some footage of that. But we got a lot of footage today of the Cub and the, uh, the Turbo Timber. We had a good time. Days like this don't pop up that often in the wintertime, especially when it's almost December. And uh, it's 65 degrees outside, no wind. So we're going to go keep on flying. And uh, when that sun goes down over there, we're going to try to get some good footage of that night timber. is falling down. Who's this? Who's that? Oh. Oh. 